All right, we're going to cover the contents of the shotgun scabbard right here. Now, of course, I've got the sling bow just kind of hooked in. You can see that. It's just hooked into one of the molly straps right there. And on the back here, I've got these molly straps and I've got some zip ties just kind of shoved in down through the molly strapping there. Zip ties are handy to have. You can make quick shelters with those things. Got the handle here, and it is adjustable. It's important that it's adjustable because I can actually fit this thing on with nothing else on. I can fit it on with my LBV on, and I can fit it on with my LBV, my backpack, and any one of the backpacks will fit with this over the top of that because of the strap. So I can carry all of these devices, uh, these packs, at the same time. Now, I don't have a lot of stuff in here. I like to keep some space for gathering things. Now, this is the, uh, the critter getter. It's designed for getting the critters, just like it sounds. All right, I got the strap for the critter getter. It's just molly strapped on the back. If I want to remove it, I can use this strap, just hang it down like a haversack. Undo the buckle here. Inside here, I've got a Slim Jim. Now this Slim Jim came in, in a case and this one wasn't quite edible. So I can use this as bait. It's not trash. In this little pouch right here, I've got an emergency blanket. That's a, or emergency sleeping bag actually. That's wrapped in a Ziploc bag. So, worst comes to worst. I have some shelter right there, and I got the original, uh, the original uh, deal for the, uh, the sling bow. Now this isn't nearly as strong as the black band, but this uh, this band will be functional in case uh, that black band breaks or for whatever reason. I need another band for some some other item for some other thing. All right, I've got a drawstring right here. This pulls out, and inside here. I've got my pocket fishing kit. I've got this case which is on very tight and has a bunch of bird bait sticks for making bird traps. This is bamboo that I've cut these out on and uh, there's some stuff in here to put some other things in. Some of these are already baited. There's some uh, pine pitch right on top of that. Some pine pitch on that as well. Under I got a beta going in here. All right, I think this all right, this whole sack right here has bait, and uh, we're looking at corn. So there's corn in the middle of there, and basically I just took some corn seeds from Walmart and I put them in a little bag. These are just hybrid corn seeds. I can plant them once; they, they're not going to reproduce after the first time, but they will grow some corn if I need to, and I can use them for the bait stick. And we got some uh, cantaloupe seeds right here as well that we can put in there. Yep, there's some more seeds. There's a couple of different seeds I have in here. Uh, you want to use, uh, these are peas, so that works out too. You want to use things that are bright color generally. Um, yellows work good. Reds work good, but I didn't have anything red at the time. So uh, I made these quite a long time ago actually. Uh, I think about two years ago and you want to have some pine fish and I'll show you some pine fish in a moment here uh, ah it's the second part of the LBV video I didn't show you all the things in the pouches so I'll go back and make that second part of the video now I've got some rat traps here these rat traps have a hole drilled in them and I, I uh, grounded the holes down so that they wouldn't be too, too cutting on the 550 because if something larger than a squirrel were to get on this and it doesn't kill it, it's going to try to escape and it's going to eat right through that uh, paracord as it uh, tugs on it so I, I, uh, I sanded them down so it wouldn't do that. This is 550 cord. You put some peanut butter on these, put them in the right spot, you can catch yourself a squirrel. Uh, if you put some sardines on them, you might catch a possum or a raccoon. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. I got some mice traps. 
mouse traps. I got four of these mouse traps. Uh, I haven't heard a lot of success about these. I got them set up the way uh, these are set up, but I've got uh, catfish line holding them down. Uh, I could try these on birds, is what my plan is. I don't know if they'll work, but we're going to try them on birds. I have four of them in here. And there's two more there. And I've got a fishing stringer right here. Alright, now, this is just another mink oil container. And I've got trapping gear in here. I've got pre-made traps right here. And I've got just a line right here in case I need to make custom size traps for different type of things. I've got some nails, some stops, and uh, th things like that in here. So I've got the pre-made traps, and I've got the ones that are not pre-made in case I need to uh, go for something larger or something smaller, I guess. All right. And that covers the uh, the shotgun scabbard. And there's I don't think there's anything else in there. Nope, there's nothing else in here. All right, I'll be back with the second part of the LBV video. All right, I just wanted to clarify that uh, the critter getter on the uh, shotgun scabbard, uh, I didn't get that from Steve Davis. I got the name of that from Steve Davis. So uh, I actually picked that up at an Army and Navy store. I just wanted to clarify that so I won't get uh, bombed with a bunch of comments on that.